I'm here for a celebration uh, because, let's raise a glass, it's been about two years, two years this week. May 12 is when Jim Jordan, our chairman, was subpoenaed and asked to comply with his subpoena for his role, his interaction with the former president on the January 6 attack uh, of the Capitol. And so we are now 735 days in, it's two years, and this committee has the nerve, this committee has the temerity to seek compliance from the Attorney General. I actually think you should not be able to bring any subpoena of another person if you are out of compliance of your own subpoena. That seems to make a lot of sense uh, to me, and, and we'll have an amendment uh, to address that uh, a little bit later. This is about doing everything to help Donald Trump, who you see as your client, who a New York criminal trial sees as a defendant, to help him win an election. So I have no interest in playing this game. The American people have no interest in playing this game. And all this does, for those of you who have graced us with your presence, animates that it's a completely do-nothing Congress. It's nice to see that some of my colleagues on, this, on the other side can make it today. I, I don't know if that means that there weren't enough seats in the courtroom in New York, uh, but I know that the Oversight Committee canceled the hearing that was supposed to happen right now on this matter so that they could uh, be uh, at the president's trial. I know some members will miss this vote uh, because uh, they want to be at the president's trial, and I don't think that anything could animate the phrase do-nothing Congress more than missing votes and canceling hearings to go up and be a spectator at your cult leader's trial. That is the definition of do nothing Congress. But I wanna talk about this particular effort to hold the Attorney General in contempt because what is this really about? After all, it was Donald Trump's appointed prosecutor who the Attorney General deputized to be the special counsel here to look at President Biden's handling of classified documents. So it was Donald Trump's prosecutor who cleared President Biden. He said, there's nothing to see here. And in fact, although he did not put it in the lead memo for his report, there was an exchange that he acknowledged in the interview with President Biden where the special counsel told the president, your recall is photographic. He didn't say your recall is good. He didn't say your recall is decent. The special counsel said your recall is photographic. So what is this really about? This is about you all not accepting the outcome of the 2020 election. You rooted on the rioters as they sought to attack the Capitol on January 6. If that wasn't enough, you all went back to the floor and relitigated the issues that brought the rioters to the Capitol just eight hours later. Many of you go and visit the convicted criminals who assaulted the police officer at their jail cells. And during police week, as a bunch of officers yesterday testified in the Homeland Security hearing that those officers are heroes and those rioters are criminals, you call them hostages. And the former president calls them hostages. So this is entirely about not accepting the outcome of the January uh, 6th vote here, rooting on the rioters, and doing everything you can to try and affect the outcome of the upcoming election. And so then I thought to myself, is there like a parallel? Is there another investigation where your side was completely incurious about what that investigation yielded? Turns out there was. Turns out it happened recently. Turns out somebody on your side was investigated for sex trafficking. Now you're gonna say, well, he was cleared, he was cleared. They dropped the charges. Yes, the Biden Attorney General dropped the charges. Didn't pursue, didn't bring charges. That's exactly what happened with President Biden. But you all have shown no interest to go to the Attorney General and say, well, we wanna learn more. We wanna see the notes and the audio recordings and the evidence of our own colleagues' sex trafficking investigation. Not a peep from any one of you. So if you wanted to do that, if you wanted to show just a little bit of consistency, I would be willing to entertain that you have a genuine interest in understanding what happened in that hearing. But that's not what this is about. 